I completely finished my mock draft. Oh, okay? it's good, too. Oh, keep it down. Keep it it down. Is, yeah. Oh, oh man, people whoa. just screenshot that and oh, zoomed in. No, oh, no. Don't do that. Do not, do not, do not reveal my entire draft before tonight. It's up. Don't clip it, Foxy. <laughs> Foxy. Dump it, Don. What pick do you want to know from the mock draft? Those are basically the Ooh. nuclear codes. 18. Pick number 18. <gasps> no, you can't do that. Can't one. do that. You one. can't do that. One. Can't do that one. That was that one's a pretty big that. one. You can't do that, that one reveals a lot what about, about 27. A lot. Okay, 27. The Seattle Seahawks. They take a guy named Joshua Jones. Ever heard oh, of him? Oh, 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 congratulations, oh, Seahawks fans. Wow. wow. That is a good wow. pick. You're welcome, Russell. People who have seen my mock draft completed have said that my mock draft probably going to be the first mock draft to ever go 100%. And I'm proud of it. A lot of the boys in here, we put our brains together. We don't do that on a regular basis. We put this mock draft together, and we feel very good and sound about all of the picks that we selected. Shout out to the Seahawks taking Joshua Jones, who definitely plays tackle, tackle for, ta from Houston. Tackle yeah, from the University of Houston. Uh, go Cougs. Go Cougs. You covered him this year. Boy. Thursday saw, night football. Yeah. I saw they got out to a big lead against Tulane, yeah. and then all of a sudden they end up losing. Then I went down to Houston and watched them play against uh, another football team. That was very good at the football, and I think it was um, SMU. Yes, there it is. SMU yeah. and, and SMU, by the way, won that game. A lot of transfers. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. of transfers. Transfer you, but I saw this guy play football, and I was yeah. like, you know what, that guy, he's going to be a Seahawk a year from now. Mm -hmm. And the way he moves his feet, in the way whoa, he, whoa, 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 dancing bears. Well, that's a D lineman, but yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He can play D line, and that's that's yeah. That, yeah. that type versatile. Of, that type of versatility is what we're looking for. First pick on my mock draft: Cincinnati Bengals. They're taking Joe Burrow. Oh. We revealed that in yeah. the first hour. True. Mm -hmm. Second pick: Washington Redskins. They're taking Chase Young from the Ohio State. Already revealed that. Number three: Can't tell you because that's going to move the Giants though. Congratulations to the Giants. They're taking Tristan Wirfs, offensive tackle from Iowa. Whoa! At number four. Oh. Iowa guy, huh? They got a good guy coming to New York. Yep. One corn, of Kirk's dogs. Cornbread Hawkeye Diner. Mount Pleasant. That's right. Uh, we had 16.3 thousand people watching the show at one point. That is a new high for us. Yeah! yeah. People are saying you bring in the Sanchez, the numbers will follow. Let's get to the phones. Let's go to Evan in San Diego. Evan, what's going on, bub? What's going on, guys? Happy draft day. Happy draft um, day to you, too, man. Happy draft, I got a, Happy draft Happy Draft Happy Draft Day! Hell yeah, guys. Um, right. I got my top six right here leading up to the Chargers pick. So, Bengals will obviously go with Burrow. Evan, I do not care. <laughs> Evan, I, I am not here to listen to your entire mock draft. I haven't even given away my top five. Evan. 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 Something with the name. Oh, come on. Evan. Terrible name. It's bad for the brand for, of Evans. It is. Well, same, same with... Will the Lions, who got a guy in a Winnebago in the driveway, oh, yeah. will they turn this night into the night that pivots and turns the Detroit Lions back into a franchise that people care about? Is that something that's going to happen tonight, Evan Fox? 100%. Tonight starts the night. We turn this thing around. From now until the first game, I have hope. 10-6, and six, playoff win, book it. What was the, See, this is what the draft is, by the way. Mm -hmm. This is what the draft is, and this is why the draft is so important. Did you hear what Evan Foxy just said? Last year, they played numerous games with a guy named Drew Blau, at quarterback. <laughs> Okay, they traded away everybody that was good on their team except for the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Matthew Patricia had no idea if he was going to be the coach this year. We talked to him. He said, uh, in the NFL, there's always a chance. Matt Patricia, good friend of ours, friend of the show. He had Love no him. idea if he was going to have a job this year. <laughs> Listen to what Foxy just said. Tonight, if they can somehow turn this draft into something where they think it's going to be a promise – for the future to be good, that is what the draft brings you. There's zero games played. There's nothing of any relevance that can tell you if somebody won or lost the draft, but every single fan base potentially has a chance to feel hope. And on the flip side, every single fan base has the potential chance to feel absolute dread with their pick, even if you have no idea if it's a good pick or not. Fans at home who have been doing their own research, especially in this quarantine lockdown, they've been Googling, they've been searching, they've been reading the Mel Kuyper's one- Two. One, two, three. <laughs> they've been reading Todd McShay's drafts. They've been hearing about who everybody should take. They've been getting their hopes up. And then it's a team that has done hours and hours and hours of research on these players. Select somebody different. The fans have every right to say, well, that's a bunch of garbage. <laughs> 
And that's what happens. And nobody has a clue if it's a good draft pick or not until when? Five years down the road? I guess next year somebody can explode onto the scene and maybe be a one-hit wonder. But in three years from now, if that person stinks, that draft pick is bad. That is why the draft is awesome. Because you get people who have no idea what they're talking about, who have no clue what the future is going to hold, saying that their team's going to turn around in one night. And that person is Evan Fox. And that is why the draft is so special because we're in a time where there isn't a lot of hope, there isn't a lot of optimism, people are being locked down in their houses, they feel like they're in jail, and their teams have a chance to make a drastic jump in one swift call by Roger Goodell from his basement. And that is what I'm looking forward to tonight. So sorry to interrupt. If you're a man watching this, you deserve to have long, great and you can do that now with our friends at Roman. Right now, you go to GetRoman.com, you get $10 off and free two-day shipping on Roman Swipes, which are guaranteed to make you have longer, more fulfilling every time you get in the sack. Now, let's get back to the fornicate in action. Wait until Sunday when the draft grades come out from people who have oh. no idea how oh. the draft actually went. And if your team has an A rating, oh. I Super Bowl. through the roof. I, by the way. I think we will give out draft grades Have to. Nice. on Gotta Monday Monday show. On this show, we will give out draft grades. Not to every team, only the teams that matter, so probably five to ten teams. <laughs> we will give out draft grades on what we thought. But, I mean, it, it is something that nobody has a clue if any of this is a good pick. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Is that quarterback that you never heard of from Duke who's a spitting image of Eli Manning, a bad pick for the New York Giants? We don't know. We still don't know. He played pretty good football last year, but in 10 years from now, if the Giants don't do anything, everybody's like, hey, the fans are right. Bad pick. But right now, the thought is not a bad pick because he and Saquon almost built something a little bit special last year, a little bit of chemistry. We have no idea what's going to happen, and that's why it's awesome to overreact to it, which we will be doing right here, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, McAfee and Hawk Sports Talk, Draft Primetime Super Special, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Jordan Palmer, Chris Ballard, Sanchez, Mark Sanchez, Ooh. Lou Holtz, Mel Kuyper, you name it. The list goes on and on. It's going to be a little watch party for the draft, and we hope you will spend your night with us because it's going to be a long one. I mean, we're, we're looking at a potential overnight stay at this thing <laughs> because the technology is going to fail. They're going to get a pause to the draft at some point. There's going to be extendos on picks. There's going to be people confused with what button to mute, what button to unmute. There's going to be things that are going to come out from this draft that are going to be next level, and we can't wait to be a part of it. Yeah, my guess – is that this will be the longest first round in NFL history. And we chose to go live for the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. The, for, Woo! The, for the people. For the people. We'll be sued and booted by mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Already in. Oh.